I love potato soup, and I picked some vegetables that go really nicely with it. So let's get started. First, uh, we have a leek that I have cut in half and uh, washed very thoroughly. Now we're cutting uh, these half moons. Not super thin, but thin enough. Um, as you can see, the leek has a lot of layers, and I'll show you in this really bad close-up. <laughs> um, it's It has all these layers, and dirt likes to stay trapped in them, so you have to wash it really well. So I recommend slicing it in half lengthwise, and then washing it really well in between the layers to get all that dirt out. And then... The stem part at the very bottom is really hard, that's why I'm not including it. Alright, next up we have a, uh, an entire white onion. And I'm just slicing it in half here. And then we're going to do each half in thin slices. And then from there we're going to cut crossways and dice it. And I'm not doing it super fine, they're gonna be a little chunky. And that's okay. That's what we want. And I'm gonna do that to the whole onion. All right, now we have a single carrot. I've cut it in half and peeled it, and now I'm cutting it in half again and doing um, thin slices. Uh, the bottom end was a little thick, so I'm cutting it in half lengthwise and then cutting those halves in half again lengthwise. So that way all the pieces that I'm cutting uh, stay relatively the same th size and thickness. Because I want these carrots to cook as quickly as the onions and leek will. And then we have garlic. And we have about seven to eight cloves of garlic here. I'm smashing it and then I'm cutting it very thinly. Alright, once you have all your vegetables cut, go ahead and heat up a pot and put a little bit of olive oil in there. I do about two to three tablespoons. And then I dump all those vegetables and the garlic in all at once. So it can all cook together and the flavors can mingle. And you can see on the left there I'm cooking bacon. Uh, that can be used as a garnish on top. If you like crispy bacon, you can like cut it up into little bits, that type of thing. That's the idea I had while cooking the bacon. But it doesn't turn out very well, <laughs> unfortunately. But that it is a good it is a good topper. All right, now I'm just stirring it to make sure the olive oil is just coated all on the vegetables. And then every so often I'm giving it a little stir. What we want is the vegetables uh, to, like the onion to be translucent, the carrot to start to soften, and the leek to get this glossy texture. As you can see right here, this is exactly what we're looking for. It's got a little bit of color to it, which is perfect. That helps with the broth, coloring the broth. And at this point, I'm going to add water per cup till I have everything just covered. So as you can see here, it took four cups of water to cover that. And then I'm going to add my diced potato. And if I need to add more water, I will. And as you can see, it, the it's above the water, so I need to add a little bit more. So we're gonna do one more cup. And there you go. Everything is just covered, which is exactly what we want. And here I am using uh, chicken bouillon. 
and I'm adding uh, one teaspoon for every cup of water that we added. So I'm doing five in total. And just a pinch of pepper. Uh, there's already salt in the bouillon, so that's why I'm not adding any extra salt. And then we go ahead and just stir it up. And we're going to want the potatoes to cook. So we, we are going to cover it and let it simmer. And then once it's ready, it should look like this, where everything's nice and translucent. And what we want to do is test the potato to see if a fork goes through it pretty easily. And it does. Perfect. Now, what I'm doing is spooning about half of this soup into a mixing bowl. And the idea behind this is I don't want to add cornstarch or any sort of thickening agent to it. What I'm going to do is take this potato masher and I'm going to mash all this up. Now, the, if you had it, you could use a blender to do this, which would be faster, or you could use an immersion blender, which would be easier and just blend till it's about half. Or you could do it fully if you want it completely blended together. I like my soup a little chunky, which is why I'm doing half. Now I'm using a whisk to get the consistency to be uh, the broth mixed in with that potato. So we get that like almost mashed potato-like texture. And I'm just gonna dump it right back in. And this will thicken that soup. And it does thicken as it sits. So this makes fantastic leftovers. It becomes the perfect consistency. But I also love to eat it when it's done. <laughs> At this point, you could add cream if you so desire. I don't. And here's our beautiful bowl of potato soup with cheddar cheese on top. Delicious.